Is Teresa back? Sorry about that, Teresa. If you're there. Hopefully Teresa will be around. We have shared a group, but as soon as we shared a group, it goes right to um, Portrait. So we're not going to share the group we're not right do now. That. We'll just I'll post it to the groups later. Okay. Um, yeah. So uh, should we wait a few minutes, or should we just get right into it? Um, well, you can talk about your life a little bit. <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> we can talk about the kitchen wall that you want to renovate or add something. Oh, it's it. such a gorgeous idea to have a mural of. Julia Child in your kitchen, black and white with a black and white kitchen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's not a bad idea, to be honest, but I don't think it's going to happen. He won't even let me cut a little hole in the wall the size of his light switch, for heaven's sakes. Um, That's what but he's not here. Project. He's not here, no. <laughs> that started the whole project was that I wanted to, you might have to turn around for this one. I wanted to put, actually, if you go here and show people, show anybody this cupboard, no, you don't have to go right there, but this corner. I wanted to build a room inside this closet and put a little tiny door down here. Oh, what a cool idea. Vicki Robertson is watching. Hi, Vicki. So over here, where are you? I was going to put a tiny little door. Like and then inside the cupboard, I was going to build a hotel lobby, which I thought would be very cool. Oh. Yeah, I know. But somebody kiboshed that idea. Um. <laughs> I won't mention any names. I'll bet Vicky knows who I'm talking about. I think Vicky probably has a pretty good running guess on that. <laughs> anyway, that was the beginning of the whole plan. And um, so traditionally I've been working in a, in a scale that we call 112. And what 112 scale means is one inch equals one foot. So this house right here. And this. House, I guess you call it a house, whatever you want to call it, are both done in a scale. Transforminium. Yeah, are both done in a scale of one twelve. Well, that isn't going to work if you put it inside a closet because it was just way too big. So I wanted to try and scale it down. So the next scale down is called one twenty four, and what that means is that a half an inch equals a foot. So it's half the size of this. So this house is one twelfth the size of our real house, okay? and this house is one half the size of this house. Make sense? Can you see both of them at one time? Yes. I don't know if you can or not. So I said to Janine earlier that it's building this one and putting it here reminded me of when you bring a baby. Oh, here's your cousin hospital. Bonnie in New Hampshire. Huh? Your cousin Bonnie in New oh, Hampshire. Hi, so I feel like it was like when you bring a new baby home and the new baby looks so tiny and the toddler that you had last week looked little, but now the toddler looks massive. So that's what I kind of felt like when I put this in. Put that baby in your shelf. The baby in the shelf. So Janine thinks I should turn this whole wall shelf into an apartment building with running elevators going up and down. But for now, I think we'll just stick with one. We'll turn the lights Ooh, on. Oh my, look at your lights. We have lights. We'll turn this little light on. Or maybe we won't. Yes, we will. Okay. Um, we can dim these lights there. The lights are bright. So now we've got... Oh, we nice. can dim. We can dim, yes. We can all, we, oh, there we go. That's for your evening ambiance, I guess. So anyway, we'll leave it on bright. Um, so today we're just dealing with architecture. We're not doing anything. Well, there isn't anything done except the architecture. So it's just how I constructed I'm the building. Just gonna take a little walk in take here. Take a little walk about. So, so this this whole room that you're looking at is about ten inches high. So 10 inches translates to... Here's a coffee inches. mug to give you an idea of scale there, guys. Yeah. So 10 inches translates into 20 feet. 17 inches wide translates into 36 feet. And it's 10 feet, about 10 inches deep, so that's 20 feet. 17 goes into 36. 30, well, not 36. 30, oh, 34, okay. fine. Okay. <laughs> fine. <laughs> Sorry, I had an English teacher, by the way, not a math teacher. <laughs> stay out of your math. Stay out of the math department. <laughs> no, I'm the one who needs to stay out of the math department. <laughs> Actually, there's a lot of math in these things. And that, Donnie Mabel is watching. Wonder I if that's Debbie. That. Hi, Donnie. No, Donnie likes to watch. Oh, does he? Donnie, okay. Yeah. They're all down south. They're, so far, everybody's down south. So well, this is like a nice visit to Morrisburg. Yeah. I'll give you a little view of Morrisburg if you'd uh, kind of like to get the idea of what you're missing. It's a <laughs> lot of snow and cold and wind. There's a lot of snow. 
Okay, so what I found out was I really like to work in this scale. I almost prefer it because for a number of reasons. Did you see the ceiling, Ginny? Did you see the pipe? Up on I the did. Oh my goodness, you. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a loft. It, it's what a was field. that originally? I don't know. Was oh, it, what was? It, oh, what did I make it out of? I thought yeah. you meant. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is ducking <laughs> really? <laughs> What it was, I don't know where I got it. I wish I could find more. It was just like an inner tube of a, of a wrapping paper, but it was only this big around. It was oh. like an inch around. So I'm going to have to go scouring like the Dollarama or the Dollar Store, yeah. wherever I shop, and figure out what came on that roll <laughs> that was that big around. As I'm sure it was from something in town. So yeah, it was, and then it's covered in um, metallic foil. But I'm going to go over each individual part. So that's kind of the whole oh, okay. point of this one is that because I can't film as I go, or I find it really hard to film it as I go because each step takes forever. So you do a step and then it sits for a day. So it's not something that you can film. But what about those speed um, videos you do? Well, you oh, I'm so impressed with those. You'll have to yeah, tell me how you do those. You can do. And then um, I also forget. But, but you don't care enough. Yes. Okay. Well, no, I forget. I get doing something and I'm like, oh, I didn't take a picture of that. Or, oh, I didn't film that. So it's easier for me to show you the finished product and then sort of dissect it mm -hmm. and tell okay. you how I did each part. So that's kind of what we're going to do. Now we went from English to math to biology. Yeah. <laughs> So the other nice, really nice thing about doing something in a shelf like this is that you don't have to worry about the outside. So the outside of this... But you should, though, just for when you take it out, you should put a little Spider-Man on the side. Well, if you could. Now, it wouldn't be hard for me to um, adapt this so that it had a finished outside. And, and if I ever... My hair stopped shaking. If I ever wanted to bring it out for whatever reason, I can't imagine what. I would probably just um, get either mat board or more of this foam board. So this, the whole thing is made out of this stuff, which you get, I get Ooh, downtown. foam board. I use it for everything. It's just amazing stuff, and it's cheap. But if I wanted to finish the outside, it would be pretty easy to just make a, a surround. But you could, you could have a, a flattened, sort of squashed Spider-Man. would be fun, too. You could do a lot of things. Yes. Uh -huh, yes. <laughs> stay, of stay out of your life. Okay. <laughs> so can you now, um, so what I'm going to do is get Janine to sit somewhere and I'll just go through each little component and tell you how I made it. Well, this is just like living in New York now. <laughs> kind of. Barry so Bell says thing. nice job. Sorry, who said that? Barry Bell. Hi, Barry. How are you doing? Um, so the whole thing is made out of this foam board. Okay, so you could make it, the one behind Janine that we saw at the beginning. I don't know, did you want to do it? You can, I guess. Just... That one is made out of... Um, wood. Wood, press board. It's very heavy. It weighs a ton. The one in the corner was a kit, so it was made out of some kind of wood too, but it's not, it's, it's heavy, but it's not. Balsa. And then this one is just like as light as a feather. Take it in. So what I found, like a puppy. interestingly enough, when you're working on a smaller scale, is that the materials, you can use different materials for different things. So where this wire would have been way too thin to make a railing in a big house, it was the perfect um, dimension to make a railing in this house. And these are just uh, skewers but, that you used to eat with. Not you boys, you know I mean? No, not chopsticks. No. That you used to cook with. Like if you're skewering a shish kebab. Oh, ah, skewering. <laughs> you don't eat with them. They're skewers. <laughs> anyway. Oh, I didn't turn that light out. The light didn't go out. So I'm just going to... I'm going to talk about the lights that I've got um, before we're finished too. But I'm going to start with each individual component. So I'm going to start with the... Brick, the I'm going to start with the whole design idea first, actually. So I decided... What, I was sitting here one day and looking at that shelf thinking that is the perfect shape, I think, for... An apartment building or an apartment house or a loft so I measured it up sure enough it's the right shape so I take all the measurements um, and draw it all out on graph paper and kind of get a layout kind of decide what I'm gonna do then I start looking on Pinterest and then I just Pinterest and I Google and I Google and I Google not just Pinterest Liz actually, is going to do some more work that's a good girl Google more than Pinterest and I just Google and Google until I get <coughs> an idea of a layout and then it's all done on graph paper uh, I do usually do it on my iPad but it's all Drawn out first, measured, I get a pattern, then I start with this fun stuff. 
It's a total foam board. A, is that a big moment when you start after? It's it been... is, and it's also I, I need to be flexible because um, I, I, it'll change often along the way. But I got to have a place to start with, and once I've got this pattern decided, I, I, at this point I don't really know. I haven't done furniture or anything, but I'm just getting an idea of the room. This stuff comes in a sheet that's the size of a Bristol board, and it's like a dollar. So it's like so cheap. I love it so much. I use it for everything. <laughs> so, so one thing about this stuff is that it cuts beautifully if you have a sharp knife. Okay? So I'm going to cut this. And if you don't, you have no business doing this sort of thing. Now, cuts beautifully if you have a sharp knife. <laughs> So, like, you get an edge like that. I'm not even going to bother Smooth. trying. Smooth. I'm not even going to bother to try and do that. Well, maybe I'll try. Maybe this one isn't as sharp. If you have a dull knife, um, you know when you want something not to work? And it always works. That's what's going to happen. But if you have a dull knife, it just totally disintegrates it. It breaks the paper. It breaks the foam on the oh. inside. Um, so buy lots of back so razor of, blades. Yeah, and I don't mean you need a new knife for the project. You need a new knife for every so many cuts because it, th this stuff just dulls it. But if you have a good sharp knife, it'll just cut like butter. It's perfect. So I build the whole thing, and I put it together with a combination of aims. Oh, and I didn't bring my glue gun down, but everybody knows what a glue gun is, so that's not important. I put it together with a combination of aliens and... A glue gun. The glue gun. Let's show this one again because everybody shows that when they do this, the tacky glue. I know, it's because it's great. It's and everybody's sort of in love with their tacky glue. I know. Aileen was, she was special. It was. I shouldn't say was. I don't know Aileen. She might be alive. But whatever. Um, well, somebody will probably let you know in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't assemble the room at this point. But what I would have done oh. was assemble these columns. I wanted a little bit of architectural interest, so I made these columns at the yes. front. You can see on the back of that wall behind the light, there's an extra panel that sort of juts out a little bit. Like right here. See that panel? Oh, I see. And that's just... That's just architectural, just architectural interest. architectural interest, and it also adds strength. So, and this wall, I wanted a little archway. I saw that little archway. Gives the impression of ducting. I saw this little arch in one of them, and I thought, well, that's neat. So this wall is doubled, and that also um, strengthens it a little bit. So all the pieces are done. Also and good all, for display. <laughs> and they're all just loose. They're not assembled, but these columns are built. So then I go in, onto Google again. Google is my best friend. And I find images of old brick that are called... Um, the word I'm thinking of. You can repeat the pattern. Oh, yes. Uh, that is the word you're thinking of. I know. I you know talk about I'm it with wallpaper. <laughs> anyway, you want a pattern that can repeat itself. Then I, I find out how big a brick is. I find out how many bricks can fit into a 10-foot span on a house, and then I shrink it down to my scale. So it, I forget how big a brick is now. Oh, my <laughs> heavens to Betsy. <laughs> because I want the scale to be right. I'd have to lie down for a while after doing all that. <laughs> so that, there is a lot of math in it. Mm -hmm. So then Sam printed me this on a little bit heavier paper than... Like a cardstock? Like or... a cardstock, yeah. It's got a little bit of a texture to it. And the nice thing about it, I haven't done too much of it, but the nice thing about it is you can almost um, distress it a little bit. Just like mm. a little sandpaper, a little whatever. So I take my... Um, if it's New York, you can put a few bullet holes on the side. You could do all kinds of things. So this, if this, this is my wall. Which it's not, <laughs> Bugger off, you said. This the same as my wall. And I just use glue, and I thin the glue down a little bit mm -hmm. so that it's easier to spread. Um, not too wet or it's just going to soak up. You could use spray adhesive, and I would, but I would only use spray adhesive in the summer because it gets everywhere. So I would not. I, you would do that outside. I've done it upstairs before and been so mad at myself after. Yeah, I would do it <laughs> outside. So in for now, and it does work nice, but it also has no. There's no forgiveness in adhesive spray. So if you spray, oh. you put that down like that, you're stuck like that. Uh -huh. So at least with this, and if you thin it down a bit, you have it has a bit, a bit of wiggle. It has a bit of wiggle room. So you get this down, and then you just take something. I've got this because I had it, but it doesn't have to be that. It can be a credit card. And you just make sure all the bubbles are gone. 
like so. Just like real wallpaper. Just like wallpaper, yeah, but in miniature. And then I did not um, put anything on this after I was done because um, I didn't feel it needed it. I didn't want it glossy. You loved it, yeah. And it, I, the finish was the way I wanted it. I mean, if it was a really shiny paper, smooth paper, maybe I would have dulled it down. I don't mm. know. But the way it was, it looked perfectly. And I forgot to mention the windows. I would have cut the windows out by now. They wouldn't have been done with window frames, but I would have had the holes cut. So when, I'm, when I've got my master plan, I know where the windows are gonna go. I know how big they are. I usually will have a paper pattern of the window. <clears throat> and then I lay the paper pattern on the foam board, cut it out. When I'm laying the paper on, however, I'm just gonna lay it on right over the window. And then afterwards, let's say this is the window. I'll cut around it about a half an inch, well, thicker than whatever this is, a quarter of an inch, so half an inch inside. And then I can cut this out and fold up the edges. So you can't really see it there because I've covered it up, but it, you, but um, it's just easier to do it. Because at that point, I don't even know how I'm gonna finish the windows yet. Like I have a lot of things planned out in my head, but not everything. Mm -hmm. So I don't even know what's gonna go on the inside. So I thought, well, I'll just see if it's finished. Then it's finished. So some things in your head are kind of loose. Yeah, a lot of things. Okay. So that's the two walls of brick. Um, the ceiling, can you get up and look at the ceiling? Oh, the ceiling and the back wall, I guess, are both done with this. It doesn't have to be this brand. This is just drywall spackle. It can be any brand. Um, I kind of like this one because it starts off pink and then it turns white, which is kind of nice because then you know that it's dry. Ah. Um, but I'm usually painting it. I don't put it on too thick. And I was pretty careful about the edges of where the walls were gonna to join together, but I didn't put a ton of it on in the corners. So I wanted some texture, but I, I went pretty easy with it. And I knew I was painting it, just white, but I knew I was gonna give it a paint. So um, if I missed a spot, no big deal. But I just wanted to give it a little extra something. So that was the ceiling. A little texture. The, that yes. was the ceiling in the back wall. So now I've got three walls, ceiling, back wall done, but they're still just lying on the floor. Then the floor, now this is a little bit different because I took this image off. Again, I went on to Google. I love your floor, by the way. Well, I'll tell you, the floor has had its problems, but I think I had them solved. Yes. So this is what I used, although I did have Sam print it for me in black and white because this came out and they just thought it was too green. I didn't, mm. I said, I'll just take the color right out of it. I want it more of a gray concrete. But this, yes. was what he, this is what it was. This was the image and this was the paper that we used, but it just was a different color. I didn't have any of that left to show you. So he prints Well, you this. could just reduce the, the saturation a hair or, yeah, yeah. or two hairs That's or go just, yeah. full gray. You're just, you're just playing around at that point. I mean, this is actually nice. It's just, it mm. wasn't quite what I had in mind for this particular no. loft. Um, the, now this paper's heavier and it's shinier. It's more like, a, it's almost plasticized. But I don't know that that matters a whole lot. Like if you're, if you're doing it. Is that for printing photos? I don't know what he uses it for. I think it is. I don't know if it is or not. Posters? I don't know. Anyway, um, if you're printing at home, I think the only thing to avoid when you're printing at home is just not to use anything really thin. Yeah, you want it to like have a little bit of, of substance. Your regular cheap paper, yeah. Yeah, so you need a little bit more than that, but you don't <clears> by any means have to have this particular paper, unless you live in Morrisburg and then you can ask Stan. And okay. he'll get it. You hooked up. I don't even know what it's called because I, I just say, "Can you print me this?" Okay. And we would just have to say, "Print like Margie's floor." Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Okay. So the floor, though, it started causing <clears throat> trouble. So same as the walls, uh, thin down layer of the. No, I think the first time I didn't do it that way, and that was what happened. I think I just slopped on the glue, made sure it was on the edges, but I didn't pay a ton of attention to this middle. I had it well covered, but I didn't like. Mm -hmm. And then I flipped it Didn't over. Didn't get the old credit card out, yeah. And I flipped it over and I did it with the credit card. And it looked good. It looked quite good. And then I put this on it. And so it's still not in the house. It's still detached. It's just separate. So then I yeah. use polycrylic. And that gives it a nice shine because you can see it's not as shiny. Although it's not bad. I probably could mm have -hmm. just left it plain. I probably should have left it plain because it did create a ton of problems. Ah. Uh, but anyway, I put this on it and I was like, it wasn't right away, but a couple of days later I looked at it and it was completely bubbled. Like ripples. Mm. Like you could put your hand under some of them. Like it was awful. It was horrible. So I was like, okay, rip that off. 
Um, start again, and this time I was much more careful to cover every single piece of the back with a really um, even and smooth layer of glue. Did the whole process again. Did the whole varnishing again. Same thing happened. <laughs> Wasn't nearly as bad, but mm -hmm. it still was all bubbly and awful. So yesterday I was like, I, this is ridiculous. I can't live with this. So <laughs> I thought, there's no woodwork in it at this point. You can see, we'll talk about the woodwork in a few minutes, but the woodwork is gonna look like this and I only have this done because I wanted to see what it was gonna look like. So I thought, well, I, why can't, and there was big bubbles in it. And this isn't, this is a support column, but it's not really supporting anything because it doesn't weigh anything. So it can come mm -hmm. in and out pretty easily. Yeah. So I took it out and I thought, well, what if I just cut around the edge? Could I lift it up? And that actually worked pretty well. So I took a really sharp knife, cut all the way around the edge. I didn't have to take it right out because the back seemed to be fine. Mm -hmm. So I took it, uh, uh, lifted it up till it was about two inches from the back. And then I again went with the, <laughs> trying to do three times in a row and do the same thing every time. But I took the glue and I watered it down and I did it again. And I, I weighted it with something. I Once I got it laying flat and I got everything out that I could, I had a, a frame or a, ball, a piece of wood, I think. And then I just got everything heavy that I could find yeah. and set it on top. And that seemed to work. And it may not be as shiny as it was before because I think what I did... It, it has a very nice finish. It has a nice finish. I'd like it. I'm going to leave it like that. I think what I did the first two times was I laid it on so thick. Oh. But I think it just saturated the paper and it just caused mm -hmm. it to bubble. I don't think it. Um... So this time I'm not. I, I might try it one more time. But I, I'm if I I'm way happier with it this way than before when it was a mess. So what did we cover? Oh, so the love windows. It. Sorry. What were you gonna ask? I love you, Flora. I live there. Oh. And you know, but if you if you're um, walking around with wet bare feet, you don't want it too shiny. <laughs> That's true, I never thought of that. And speaking of bathrooms and wet feet, so mm. let's talk about the bathroom. There are two things in these all these <coughs> houses that drive me crazy. Toilets. Are the bathrooms and the staircases. The staircases take up a ton of room. Mm -hmm. And I was struggling with this one until I decided I could, in fact, put it in front of the window. Yeah. Because I had seen that somewhere. As long as I've seen it somewhere, then I feel like I can do it. So I just look for pictures until I find something. <laughs> I'm like, oh, there, he did it. I can do it. Mm. So I thought, okay, I'm going to do that. Because first I was going to do a spiral one here. Ah. Uh, but, I don't know, they're a bit of a pain. They're difficult if you're carrying a suitcase. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, so the stairs I got sorted out, although it took a while. The bathroom. So what I was going to do, I'm going to stand up and put my hand in. So originally what I was going to do was have the bathroom along this back. I'm going to take this out. In front of the window? I was going to have the bathroom. That's a tiled floor. I was going to have the bathroom here where that tiled floor is. And it was going to be translucent. So it was going to be like a shower enclosure. So you would be kind of be able to see in it. Um, until I realized that the toilet and the sink were going to be plumbed onto a window. Um. And also the plumbing was going to go into the kitchen. Which uh -huh. doesn't really matter because there wasn't any real plumbing. But it just seemed weird. So then I built this wall. So I'm still intending on having the bathroom. So I built the wall up a little bit. Changed all the windows. Oh, you're going to hide your plumbing in the wall. <laughs> built the wall up. And then <coughs> I had a mop. What I, what I do for the frosted glass, or what I did for the frosted glass, was I take um, laminating sheets and a piece of vellum paper. This isn't it. This is just a laminate. Oh, these are frosted windows. And then I, yeah, so no, those aren't. They're not anymore because we changed the plan. Uh -huh. But I was going to do a frosted enclosure for this bathroom. And it was just going to have a shower in one corner, a toilet and a sink, no tub. And I was like, you can't see in it because it's frosted. You can't see the windows. So I just forgot the whole, I said, the bathroom is gone. Forget yeah. the bathroom. We're not having a bathroom until I can figure it out better. We're gonna have a nice little sitting area and a bench. Cover the whole thing up with a rug. And it's still there. If I, at mm -hmm. some point, decide I wanna put a bathroom in, I can, but I'm, I don't think I will, because it's just stupid. And if I if I were doing it again, and I'm not, I always say that, you don't know where you, where, what else, what other part of this building there is to deal with. So the bathroom could be. Well, it has to be the same as the neighbor's uh, plumbing. And... <laughs> well, it's, that's true, but it's not because it's not. But, <laughs> but there's a couple things you can do. And I might, there's something I might try, but you could, I could put a false door in at the bottom of the staircase 
and that would lead you to think that there was more to the house, although it's outside. So then you see, see, this is where, this is the way my mind goes off mm. on these little tangents, but I could try and create a sort of optical illusion staircase going down. So there isn't an yes. actual staircase, but or you could just look like it. show a porta potty through the window. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Or we could just forget about it altogether, and I think that's what we'll do. So because <laughs> they're, they're not real people. <laughs> because they're not real people, they don't have to go to the bathroom. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, I've got all the pieces now, and I glue them all together. Although I don't, I don't um, glue them all at once. I, I'll do like one wall. I'll do this wall on the floor. And I will use a combination of the tacky glue and the Aileen's because I, the, the, the tacky, or the, sorry, the tacky glue and the glue gun. The glue gun is more of an instant glue, so it will keep it in place. They tend to warp a little bit when you put wallpaper and paint. Although yeah. after each session, like after covering each piece, I do lay it on the floor, put something on it, and wait it. Okay. That makes a huge difference, but you still sometimes get a little bit of warping. But once you glue it onto its other straight side, it kind of pulls everything. So sometimes I have to balance books against it, or sometimes I have to hold these two corners and put glue in the glue gun in the middle and the wet glue in the spaces. And once the whole thing is dry, it's pretty solid. It's not going anywhere. It's not going to move. So I'll do one wall, then I'll do another wall the next day. So it's a very it's a slow process. You can't say I'm going to build a house this week. It takes I guess like in real life, it takes a long time mm. to for each step. So I get the whole thing done and I made the biggest mistake <laughs> because I measured originally, if you look up at the, if you can aim up at the shelf, I measured the inside space and didn't allow for those oh. edges. I'll walk over. You're talking about here. Yeah. So I measured the inside floor space and that's how big I made it. Oh. And I forgot about these. So I put it in and it didn't go in. I was like, oh, for God's sake, which in hindsight was a, was a really good thing because otherwise I couldn't have done anything with the lighting. It would have, it would have stuck in the lighting. I wouldn't have had outside lighting. So oh. it kind of was a good thing in the end, but I had to take it apart. So what did you say to yourself just then? <laughs> I wasn't very happy with myself just then, but that's, that's okay. That's another story. That's why God gave us wine. Yes. Yes, I probably did. Um, so I took it apart. Those and th I think those things don't usually bother me that much. It's just a matter of um, I know I want it a certain way, so I don't I get mad at myself. It but bothered I us when we built a bookcase in the basement and couldn't get it up the stairs. <laughs> there you go. You see? So I got it apart, made it smaller, and then got everything done. Floor, blah 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 blah. Now this floor we didn't talk about yet, and I will now. The floor and the ceiling are the same. If you can, do you want to get underneath there? Can you get underneath? Yeah. There? And I've I've talked about this in other. Um, no. It, it's just shiny. It's yeah. It's it's made out of these. So, like so I've talked about this in other videos before, and if you're on if you go to my website and you see other ones, you'll see it. I, I do more of a video of how I actually do it. Um, but basically, you're taking the coffee stirrers and snip the ends with this thing called a miter I love shear. your thingy. Everybody loves this thing. You get them too, and they're pretty bad like that. So you just get rid of the bad ends. Damn them for making inferior coffee stirrers. <laughs> so, you cut a whole bunch of lengths like this. And just as in real wood flooring, you don't want to oops. have it be the same Z, same Z. You don't want to line them all up. So you're, you're lining them up. You know, you're off centering them. And you just do that whole floor like that. But you have to do it very slowly because you have to do a couple pieces at a time and weight it. I mean, it depends on what your weighting system what? is like I, and how much room you have. Oh, mind you, this wasn't in when I was doing it. I was doing it out yeah. on the counter. But you have to just do a few, weight it down. I use a lot of um, painter's tape as clamping. So where you would normally have a clamp or something... So the clamp doesn't work. You can, but when I'm doing all these edges, this is everywhere, and that's gonna hold that holds. And I'll one, you know, I'll put ten uh. across there, and that just it it acts like a clamp and a weight, and it tightens everything up. So I use a lot of painters tape when I'm doing the floors, and you just have to um, lay it until it's finished, and then it really warps. So, so, but then when you do the other side, it'll flatten itself out. But I think if I did it again, I keep saying that, and I keep saying I'm not going to, but in, if I were doing the exact same thing again, I would probably do 
a couple boards on one side, a couple boards on the other side, a couple boards on the other side, and I think it would keep it. Ah. I mean, it's fixable. From, from skewing. Yeah, it was fixable, but it was very, very cool. If I were building my house again, I would come and have you build a dollhouse of the house before we That's built it, and that would have spotted some problems that <laughs> we could never exactly. fix. Now, there is a girl on, uh, I can't think of which one it was, so I don't want to say the name. Um, but she, she does these kinds of houses, miniature, and uh -huh. both scales, but she builds, if she's going to build a wooden one, she'll build it out of this first small, on a small scale. Oh. And then she can see how, especially if it's one that, um, um, is the replica of a house and you can't, like she does sometimes, she doesn't do them from a house plan. She does them from a, t she might do it from a TV show. Like, oh, what does, oh, what's um, the Brady Bunch's house look yeah. like on the inside? Mm -hmm. So she doesn't have a floor plan. She has to figure out the floor plan. So she'll build a little model. I've seen Fraser's house or Fraser's apartment, and um, friends and friends. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of miniature friends' apartments. I haven't seen the um, uh, uh, Cheers of the bar. No, I haven't either. That would be a good one. Uh -huh. I saw Downton Abbey replica the other day. Oh my! And even the people looked like them. It was crazy. Oh my! Anyway, back to what were we talking about? Oh, the windows should be next. So I've got this floor done. I didn't put the floor until the end. But I got the, I have the floor done, and it's, uh, after you... Is the top and bottom of the floor the same wood, or is it too, too... No, uh, it's the same wood. And then the other okay. nice thing about working with this foam board, I'm just going to change topics for one second, is that these coffee stirs are the exact width of the foam board. Oh. So whenever you need to finish an edge, like down here, for example, you just coffee stir across the foam, and it's gone, and it looks like you have a piece of foam. Another nice reason for using the foam. And coffee stirs. And coffee stirs. So the windows. The windows were next. And I did the windows a couple of different ways. I, um, I, can you zoom in on one of them? Or is it too awkward? Are they, um, are they single ply or? Single oh. pane? Single pane? They're all different things. So that's what I'll, and I, I think I know which one my favorite is. I'm just is. thinking of insulation. So, <laughs> so that one that you're looking at right now is a piece of glass. So I just got a piece of glass from... A window from a picture frame from oh. the dollar store downtown. Mm -hmm. And I and thought this it was, is actual glass. Yeah, so it's a glass window. Um, I guess before that, though, I put the wooden trim again using the coffee stirs. So first around, I painted all the coffee stirs black, first of all. Mm -hmm. So I, oh, did, first, I did not yes, want to paint them after. So I painted them all first. Um, so up until where the curve starts, you can see it would be fairly simple. So I just painted them all black, glued them, cut them with my miter shears glued them inside edge and, then, oops. and outside edge. And then you get to the curve. So for the curve on the inner part. Oh no, you didn't. I did, but I soaked them. So I soaked them for about an hour. This is probably gonna pop. Maybe not. So I soaked the current coffee stores for about an hour and I found something, yeah, I did. <laughs> but if it was wet, it wouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> so I soaked it for about an hour in hot water. And then I found something that was the same circumference as the top of that window. I don't think it was this, but it yeah. kind of looks like it. Then to the round wet, um, I think I put an elastic around the That's bottom. how bad wood chairs were invented. So that's how I did the round part of the inside of the window. But the outside was another problem because you can't bend it this way. <laughs> like it doesn't bend, right? It'll bend this way, but it won't bend this way. So I had a piece of wood, a balsa wood in my, or basswood, I guess. And I had to cut out. Um, this is very, it was painstaking. I don't. Mm -hmm. there, there are miniature scroll saws. There are people that could have done it better than me. But the way I did it worked. It just took a long time. So I had to cut those circles out and do a lot of sanding. I didn't mention that with this floor either. A ton of sanding. I don't really like sanding, but you have to. You just have to. Well, let's see your sander. Um, well, I do have a little power sander that goes on here that I use for something. Mm -hmm. But I also use this. Wet, wet, dry sand, and I also make little ones for getting into tiny little spaces. So if I need something sanded that's little, I'll, I'll, sometimes it'll be a rounded. Uh, mm -hmm. Sometimes I'll use something round, like a pencil, if I need a rounded. Uh -huh. So that's what I do for sanding, and like I said, I don't like sanding much, but you have to do it. And anytime there was a crack in that wood, I would just fill it with this stuff. And then touch it up after before. Mm -hmm. And you really can't tell. For the panes, what I did, like for the black panes, I think you call them. Emollients. I used, there you go. I used my Cricut 
machine and I cut them out. And that was another painstaking job because I had to do a lot of, there's a lot of measuring in that too. And I got it wrong a number of times, but I just cut it out of two things of card or two things of Bristol board stuck them together and they became the panes. Mm. And they were a pain in the nails too. <laughs> um, and I think if I were, but I think if I were doing it again, I might make all of the window trim out of mat board because you can cut it on a Cricut. If you don't have a Cricut, then it's not a good idea. But if you do have a cutter. I think everyone got one for Christmas. I think there's a lot of them around. If you don't have one, someone you know has one. Yes. Uh, because I don't think you can tell that much that it's wood. Like I think if it were made out of mat board, it would be just as effective. So I think I put a lot of effort into the windows. A lot more, but I learned a lot, but I made them harder than they needed to be. This window, the first one you were looking at, is the glass pane that I, on the outside, if you swing after you show the inside, you can swing around to the outside. <coughs> I think I just used, I think I made like a popsicle Spider -Man. stick. A popsicle stick brace to hold it on, and then I just covered it with tape. There's a lot of glue. It's not going anywhere, but it doesn't look pretty, but it doesn't really matter, to be honest. Um, it does the job, and that's all I really needed it to do. The back window, it's a lovely big window. The big window at the back. I had a piece of um, plastic from a case that was much heavier than this laminated and stuff. Like it was really heavy. I don't know. I can't remember what it came from. And it was just the right size. And I thought I'm going to try that to see if I like it as much. And I do. It lays nice and flat. I don't have a problem with it. It almost has a little bubble in it, which is kind of reminiscent yes, of, of, of the uh, older of the glass. glass. Yeah. So that didn't bother me at all. Now these windows on the back, I ran into more trouble, top and bottom. So first I was gonna do the bathroom, so I frosted them with the vellum and the, and the laminating. And I had them all frosted and I put them in and they were just, because the back. Maybe you could just make little tiny chamber pots, Never mind. <laughs> I think because the back wasn't perfectly smooth, like because it had, I don't know what happened, but it just looked horrible. Well, before that, I, I decided I wasn't doing the bathroom. I took it all apart and redid it with clear uh, laminating. Mm -hmm. Because I thought because there was a, it was a smaller area that the laminating, and the reason I do that a lot of times is when I was doing the windows was that day we had, I don't know how many centimeters of snow, like 40 centimeters 48 or something, yes. So it wasn't going downtown. So a lot of times the material I use is based on what I have What the have. weather is. <laughs> or if there's a pandemic and the yeah, stores are yeah, all closed. Yeah. All those reasons mm -hmm. determine what I'm going to use. So I used the laminating and it looked terrible. It was all wobbly and wiggly and horrible. So I took it all, whole thing apart, trashed it, and started again with um, We're just gonna go with another piece of glass. I got another piece of glass from a picture frame, and I put the. Oh, this is actual glass now. This is glass again. Yeah, it just seems. I don't know. I thought I could get away with it, but it just didn't look good. I did put in a skylight up here which does absolutely nothing because even when it's in that room even with a light above it for some reason it just didn't it was not effective it didn't. they tend to leak anyway I, they tend to leak, yeah, to um so then i've got the windows all in do i have the windows all in yeah i got the windows all in. i didn't talk much about that little white alcove but it was done basically the same way as the windows same you know I frame it and, I and the shelves are made out of stir sticks or whatever stir sticks mm -hmm. too. I don't know if I love it that much. I, I kind of took away a wall that I could have put a painting on, but whatever. Too late now. Again, we talked about the woodwork down here before, so I'm going to finish the woodwork. I don't want to do the woodwork until I do the counter, uh, until I get the kitchen counters in. But the woodwork is made of this. Yeah, the stir stick. No, nope, this is not a stir stick. It's a bit thicker than a stir stick. What is it? You could have used a stir stick, I suppose. It's bass. It's just a basswood that you would buy at a hobby shop. Oh. So it's like an eighth of an I've inch. I've never been in a hobby shop. No, I should take you sometimes. It's very exciting. Mm. You meet lots of really weird people in hobby shops. <laughs> that you do. <laughs> so, but this is just a, a skewer. So together, they make a decent um, molding. You can buy yeah. um, molding, actual molding that looks like a house molding. I know, but that just takes all the so fun, fun out of it. it takes the fun out of it, and it's also ordering, and it's waiting. And it's, I like to use stuff I can get easily. So if I can't, I, and I will order things. I have got some carpets on order right now that are kind of fun. Mm -hmm. I'll order things that I can't make, like I'll order kitchen pots or whatever. But yeah, um, yeah. So anyway, um, so that's gonna be the woodwork, but that's not gonna happen until after the kitchen counters are in. The little house sign that's just made out of 
You wouldn't cook it. I think you should put one on all of your houses and have the year on them. Yeah, I think so. I did on the on the little one behind you that's the transforminium. I used um I guess you'd have to go to the end, Janine. You'd have to stand up and go to the door. Oh yes. And I did the scale. So I did one twelve as the address. Oh. Oh yes. So I was thinking of doing one twenty four on this and I thought, ah, oh, it'd be kinda nice to have the year on it. So that's, yeah, so I did that the other day. So as I was saying earlier, you can't work on a continuous project. You have to have like four things going on at once. So I had the house going on and then I was waiting, I was doing something in the house and waiting and waiting and waiting. I thought, I'm gonna turn that little thing into an art gallery. So that's all just stuff around. One is a corkscrew. So yeah, this is, a wine <clears throat> this is all original art. This is just, got, this is a, a ball bearing and a marble and that's magnets and ball bearings. And I didn't even know what that was. This was a hunk of metal that I just pounded the crap out of. All right, see? And this was a wine stopper from the wine. Oh, mmm. So, and I just made all the white stands, and there you go. It's a nice enough gallery. It looks fun. She seems to be appreciating it. She is. She's, yeah, she's We'll appreciate your shoes while we're at it. Oh, yeah, they're fun. Sam got me those for Christmas. Uh, okay. Um, the lights, I don't need to talk too much about the lights, uh, because... We'll do another one when we get to the furnishings and whatnot. We'll do a whole thing on lights. But these are uns these screw on screw up. This one's a little bit picky. There it goes. Um, they're called balloon lights, and you use them for, people buy them for weddings to put in balloons. Oh. And off the balloons go and whatever. Kill birds, yeah. yeah sure. Yes, yeah, exactly. So, um, yeah, so we'll talk more about those in another one. Um, so, I, is that... Did I cover everything I wanted to cover? I mean, I've got something to end with, but I want to make sure I didn't forget. Is the anything. mirror an actual mirror? That the you... mirror is an actual mirror that I had from years ago when I used to make kaleidoscopes. Because I've seen my nose in it. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so the mirror is an actual mirror. Um, the railing, again, was just um, wire and skew uh, skewers and a little bit of a smaller doweling there in the corner for that to hold up. Um, I think I think that's it. I guess I the, the, with the floors you sand and sand and sand and then tons of this stuff and that's what makes them nice and glossy. So I'm gonna actually put it back in the spot and then I, what I'm gonna do is show you how it's how, what the kind of furniture I'm gonna do. Like it's like a floor plan. Okay. Like I've got the furniture cut out of this wonderful stuff and we can see what it's gonna look like. Maybe or sort of. And the lights. I guess we should talk about the lights first. These lights. I, I don't know if we can see them. I guess we can. Oh yeah, we can see stuff. So, I turned, got these lights. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I got these lights at the Dollarama. They come with a remote, and I put them up there, and it was okay, but it was you could see them, like you could see yes. the edge of everything. So I thought, well, if I just hang that vellum over it, maybe that'll solve it, and it worked perfectly. But it's not a Bluetooth thing. It's a remote. Not everything has to be Bluetooth. Yes, it <laughs> so, let's put this house back in its place. What does it weigh? Oh, the glass would probably weigh the most. The glass of the windows and the wood would be its biggest weight. So in it goes. You can imagine what I did the day I brought it down and put it in and it didn't fit. That was just like... So now your lights are... So my lights are on. This light is crazy. And I didn't, I should have talked more about the pipe, I guess. I will right now. So the pipe started out as a tube of uh, some kind of wrapping paper, but it was a long tube. It was long like this, but it was only that big around. I wish I knew what it was. It had to be from Christmas because nothing else would come on a roll that long. Had to be something. I'll find out someday. So I basically just used duct tape to round off this corner mm -hmm. like that. Th those corners weren't bad. I, I cut it, bent it, but I didn't cut it all the way through. And then I just kind of wrapped, I took duct tape and made it really skinny strips and just sort of wrapped it. Oh yeah, it. so that it looks. So that it looked like it. And then I took the foil tape from my Cricut machine, but you could use anything. You could use two oh, strips to, of tin foil. To you for the strapping? It, no, no, that went around the whole thing. This is all wrapped in that foil Ooh. Ta uh, tape. That 
it, this is my favorite part. Those are when we first started making um, face masks and we bought the nose wires. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's what they are. Use them for everything. Oh, no, Not masks, but no, the nose they, wires. Hold, they hold the pipe on perfectly. <clears throat> So yeah, so I'm gonna get up the, the furniture so far. That, this is not furniture, this is just a floor plan. So upstairs we're gonna, uh, oh, okay. Just have a look, quick, look at what all you're doing here. So here is all your construction material. There is, a, that, that's something I just played mm -hmm. around with. It's the only thing that's done, and it's, I probably won't keep it, I'll probably do something else, but uh, for now I will. Okay, so I think the bed's gonna go here. So of course this is not going to be flat on the ground like that. This is just mm -hmm. this is basically just a floor plan. This is going to look like your bit new bench in your living room. Oh. And it's going to go here. I've come to discover that that is actually called a. Oh, it's not called an upholstered bench. It's called a, a canapé in oh. in French. And apparently in France. Oh well, I'm going to. Uh, sofas are called canapés. I did not know that. But this is officially a canapé. This look now when I do this when it's I'm making in the corner there? Yep. Oh, desk. This is gonna be a computer desk. When I do this, I go online and I find designs that I like. Now a king bed is a king bed. They're all the same size. Uh -huh. So you scale it down to whatever makes sense. Um I'm gonna check that desk again because to me that looks way too small. I oops. And um, Wayfair is the place I go to most of all. I love Wayfair because mm. I really like their des designs of stuff. And I got that off there, but it doesn't look too small. I, know, I don't know. I'll go on and I'll recheck it. Before I ever make yeah. anything, I would double check the. Uh -huh. But there's going to be a desk and a little computer chair, a bench, the bed, and where's the other thing? Oh, this little guy. Something like this. I don't know if it's going to be this or not, but something like that is going to go there with either a mirror or a painting on the top. They probably need a mirror for the bedroom. I think a mirror, yeah. I, think a mirror. <clears throat> I don't know where they're going to put their clothes, but... I'm not that worried about it. And that brings me to another thing. Um, of course, they can always check themselves out when they're coming down the stairs. They can, yeah. <clears throat> but then yeah. you'd have to go back up if anything was wrong. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. But you don't have to go down a full flight. You just well, have true. to go down a few. You can lay on your stomach and have a look in the mirror. <laughs> or the staircase, maybe. I don't know. Um, people. I am going to get people for this. Um, but they're not posable. They're just resin. And they're... So the, the man would be three inches high. So he'd be, he'd be that high. But I don't have them. But I will get them. But that's not something I make. That's something I would. Oh, okay. Just. Um, let's see. Let's go to the kitchen. So the kitchen, what I did for the kitchen was I went, again, I went on um, somewhere, house or just Google, I don't know. Yeah. And when I found a kitchen that was just perfect, I loved it, um, then I make it to scale and just draw on it that I know where it's going to be. It's going to be made out of wood. It's going to be black. These lift up, but they're not going to lift up. And that's what I was going to say next. With this scale, oh, the one mm. thing that I like is that I don't have to deal with hinging things. Mm. Because it's, I mean, somebody probably could make this hinged, but I'm not going to. For one thing, I'm not going to have the accessories to put in it. It's not a play. Like Tess and her friends will come over and they play with these bigger ones. Yeah. They're not going to be able to play with this. It's too small. Um, it's not the kind of, it's, it's a, it's just a looking at house. You just trap so, your hamster in there. These do not need to open and they're not going to. I okay. might make the fridge door. I don't even think so. Cause look how tiny they'd have to be. Like it's ridiculous. So I'm not going to, and, and I like that. I don't have to worry about hanging mm -hmm. So the doors will just be glued on and then there's going to be metal fit, uh, hardware. Silver hardware. It's much like that disc up top, I guess. Um, and then above that, there's two open shelves. For knickknacks. Oh, for your display items. Yes, for your display items. So that's gonna go there. Or for your dust. And I'm not. That's why I'm not doing the woodwork yet. It's because I don't want. I don't have the. I don't have it built yet. Because it, it, the finished one might not be this exact size. Because you're making it out of. It's the not gonna come in front of the window, is it? Well, I might have to deal with that. Mm -hmm. I might have to bring it over a bit, or I might just not. Worry I have about fun it. to have drop by. Mm -hmm. I'm fun to have dropped by, aren't I? <laughs> no, but that's why I do it this way, because then yeah. I see these things, and I'm like, okay, I'll change that. Uh, this one's going to have a round table, which I'm kind of excited about, because I haven't done a round table before. Mm -hmm. And four or six chairs, I don't know. Um, we're going to do... I don't know if people entertain a lot of people in New York. Well, they might not, but they can if they need and to. And they mainly... Um, a couple of couches. Do takeout. Couple of chairs, 
And I, I do have a design in my mind for the chairs, but I'll keep that a secret for now. Ooh. <laughs> coffee table I don't have a design for the coffee table I have an idea for the couches and the chair this is another oops I was think, thinking I might put a chair here don't know for sure yeah, I am gonna put touch the chamber pot under it <laughs> I am gonna put a, a bar as well facing oh, the nice. kitchen yeah. and on the other side of the bar People is gonna be the TV so oh the yeah TV so good idea the, the living room good and use of space that's what I thought and you'll have the bar stools on this side as well as the dining, which I think will be kind of cute. I'm not, oh, that's nothing. That's just the phone. And, and she just <laughs> threw out the furniture. There it and goes. Furniture's gone. Um, and I did get some, I do have, I have been working on some artwork. I'm not going to go crazy showing you the artwork because I kind of want it to be fun too, but we can just, something like this. Oh, mm, Marilyn. Nice. In there. Did anyone have any questions, hopes, dreams, aspirations? <laughs> I guess I guess the only thing I'm looking at the table and the only thing I didn't talk about was this, so I should mention it quickly. This is I think I've shown it before in a different uh, video too, but this is just a little it's like it's a miter box, it's just a miniature miter box. So if you're cutting angles. So when I'm doing the woodwork, I'll put it this way. Wouldn't thing. you use your thing? No, because when you get, you will, well, you would for thinner ones. Uh, but when it gets into anything like this, this are thicker. You need to saw it. it crushes it, you yeah. need to saw it, yeah. So, like the table. The That's, this the is table, just a snipper, this thing here. Yeah, and anything up to this thickness is fine. Like any, tongue depressors, it goes through them like crazy. But in, but when you get into this, it more it crushes it. Yeah. And it wouldn't give you, I couldn't, I'd have to do it this way at an angle. And it, oh, yeah. I should try it. Well, it's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> I have to sand it, but it's really not bad. So thanks. Mm. So, <laughs> so let's say goodbye to this. <laughs> no, I'd still use that though for certain things. Yes. So I think that's it. Um, I am going to shorten this down and make it into a more uh, reasonable length without all of our carrying on. Julie likes it. Julie, have you started yours yet? Is that Julie from North Bay? Rushton Lewis yes. from North Bay. Has she started yours? Does she? Julie, have you started yours yet? Well, I think she started it, but I don't know if she finished it. I guess I should have said, did you finish it? Because I think hers was either, I think hers was this scale. Oh. Or small. Or It'd be nice if she had a whole um, cupboard so that she could make an apartment building. <laughs> You're damn it. Uh, nope, better. she says. No, no. <laughs> But she's inspired now. Okay, I'm perfect. sure. All right, so I'm going to um, end for today. And I think the way I'm going to do it is the next time, I'll do a room at a time. And then I, it's this, I'll do it the same way. I can have, I'll have the room finished and I'll sort of demonstrate. A oh, yeah, you guilted it. her. She says, now I should get it out. Now you should get it out. And when I do the furniture, I'm going to try very hard. I've done a number of demos, so I know, or tutorials, so I know I can do them. I'm going to try to do a tutorial for each piece. And so when we do the room, when we watch mm -hmm. the Facebook Live for the room, you'll then be able to go on the website within a little while. <laughs> no, probably. I'll try and have it ready. When you fixed up the video, it. yes. And see the tutorial of how to do each piece. And we'll just do one room at a time. So that's it. Oh, then of course, there's plants. There's a plant day. So we'll do bedroom day, living room day, kitchen day, and then all the plants and artwork. And I'll time. have to watch the plant day because I can't keep a plant alive to save my soul, so I need to make some. I was just saying, these are <laughs> this is not going to help you. But I'm sure, yes, you could make some. All right, so that's it for today. So I am going to make a little shorter version and post it. And I'll, uh, I don't know, maybe today or tomorrow. Okay. Bye. Signing Thanks for off. watching.